This is Greater MSP Business with Cindy Brucato. Heating and cooling are big expensive problems in buildings here in our region. But innovation in our region's tech industry has developed a new way to solve an old problem. 75F, a two-year-old company in Burnsville, has developed a product, a thermostat, that through the internet and cloud computing can predict the heating and cooling needs of every office in a small office building so that energy is directed right where it's needed. The result is comfortable office workers and lower energy bills. Deepinder Singh is the founder and the CEO of 75F. Thanks for joining us today. I understand that 75F started with a problem in your own home. That's, that's right. My daughter was one, uh, Cindy, at that point, and we moved her into her own bedroom. And what ended up happening is uh, she woke up in the middle of the night crying, and we were trying to figure out what was going on, and we found out that the temperature in her room would drop about 10 degrees because the thermostat was really in the master bedroom. So she would be cold and uncomfortable and wake up crying. So as an engineer, I formed a company to fix the problem. <laughs> How did you decide to make the move to commercial? We originally started on the residential side, but uh, when we were doing our uh, modeling and some of the findings that we found during that process was that basically it's a much bigger problem on the commercial side than it is even on the residential side. So uh, large buildings like the one that we are in already have some kind of a building automation system it's called or an HVAC control system. But 90% of the commercial buildings in the US are under 25,000 square feet. So these are what are referred to as light commercial. Now, these buildings, uh, within these buildings, they account for about 50% of the energy usage in the world is actually attributable to buildings. And out of that, about 40% is because of HVAC. Right? So we, when we were looking at the source of the problem, we found that these smaller light commercial buildings had been largely ignored. So nobody was addressing the problem. They have a single thermostat. They have wide temperature imbalances. They're extremely inefficient to run. So, so that's the key area that we wanted to focus on. All right, let's see how it works. So, Cindy, we have a couple of zones over here. We have Jack's office and we have a conference room. But what I'm really going to do is actually turn you into an HVAC contractor. All right. And uh, so go ahead and hit set up. Okay. And then go and add room. Okay. And you can type in the name of, for the room. Okay. I'll put it in Cindy office. Right. Yep. Excellent. And then just go ahead and hit pair over there. Pair module right pair up there. Module. Okay. Yes. And I'm going to take one of these uh, brand new modules and I'm going to turn it on. And what it's going to do is uh, there, it's found it and it's actually popped up a pop up. It's asking you like what should be the maximum damper, what's okay. the minimum damper. And it's also asking what's the priority of the room. All right. Right. And so it's a by normally it's a normal Normal priority. Uh, normal priority, but in case uh, you're the CEO or you would really like to be the one who holds the <laughs> big stick, you could turn it into a higher. We'll make it normal. You'll keep it normal and then just hit OK. Alrighty. Right at the bottom. Yep, perfect. Mm -hmm. And then if you go back into status mm -hmm. and then zones. Mm -hmm. And in the meanwhile, this guy is calibrating because it's detected the damper and it's actually figuring out all the pieces of information. And you have a new room. That information is going to start showing up in a minute now. So Cindy's office, and we'll see that update coming up shortly. Okay, and this is going to tell me what it is in here. Uh, it's going to tell you what's the temperature over here. Okay. And once you have it, or what you can do is you can go, go ahead and click. Uh, if you see that wheel, mm -hmm. you can just go ahead and click that and actually drag it to the temperature that you would really I like. I see. Yeah, so, I see. so go ahead and. Okay, 71. So 73, 73. Is, the, is the current. I'd like a little cooler. Yeah, perfect. So you yeah. just make your desire to 70 degrees. and. Okay. Uh, once uh, it's been set up with the system, that's exactly the temperature that you would end up at uh, right. in your office. 75F refers to the, to the temperature of the air, but it also refers to clothing styles and to climate change. So this is a very interesting uh, proposition. Physiologically, we are actually geared to a temperature of 75. By and large, most places we, we think that we want 72, right? And the primary reason has been, if you think about, most people are actually cold, feel cold at 72 when it's truly 72, right? And the primary reason is if 72 was actually considered optimal when originally back in the 60s and 70s we wore suits 
and, and we dressed up a little bit heavier, now things are a little bit casual, so it's actually more comfortable to be at 75. And the same thing happened with the UN. What they found is their conference rooms were actually set up to 68 degrees. So they actually passed a resolution in the UN to take their summer temperatures and raise them up to 75 so they wouldn't have to cool them as much. And when they did that, they actually did it with a relaxation of the dress code. So people could now no longer had to wear a suit when they came into work at the UN Secretary building. And in doing so, you are obviously using less energy. Absolutely. You're not cooling the air down to 68, I mean, which is wasteful. It's like you cool it down and then you put a blanket on top to warm up. It makes no sense and, and the UN recognized that and I think uh, the, the rest of the world will too. Thanks again, Deepinder Singh, CEO and founder of 75F. For Greater MSP Business, I'm Cindy Bricado.